I first learned how to scuba dive in the Gulf of Mexico. To find out what lionfish could mean here, we've come to the Texas State Aquarium in Corpus Christi. Situated at water's edge in Corpus Christi, the Texas State Aquarium serves as an educational center for marine awareness. Here, we asked Jesse Gilbert, director of animal husbandry, what the Gulf of Mexico can expect. The effect will be uh, in stages, I think. As we see the initial population start to increase, we'll see maybe smaller reef fish, uh, crustaceans um, populations be affected, and as the predator population learns to adapt to consuming lionfish, then we'll start to see probably some leveling out of, of that over a span of years. Also in Corpus Christi is the Hart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies on the Texas A&M University campus. Many of the, the fish that they would prey upon, and these are typically small uh, reef fishes, uh, do not view them as predators because they did not have these uh, lionfish here naturally. So they are serious predators on many of the, the small fishes found associated with uh, coral reefs. Clearly, the Caribbean is not the only area watching this invasion with a wary eye. In addition to being the executive director here, I chair the Flower Guards National Marine Sanctuary Advisory Program. Uh, and it is really the healthiest coral reef that we have uh, in North America. And it's about 50% living coral, which is an astounding uh, figure. Uh, we, we do not know that we have lionfish there now. We hope that we don't. But we clearly, clearly see uh, them moving toward us. Uh, and it's a great concern. And it's really frustrating because we don't know what we can do about it because there's such great depths of coral around our, our coral heads. We know they're down there beyond our ability to reach them. So it's unfortunately kind of a watch and see, and I'm afraid that's what's uh, happening around the world where it's also invading. 